All right, hi everyone, Madison Meyer here. Uh, we are on the east side of uh, the Sacramento River underneath 50, where uh, the Pioneer and the Memorial Bridges are here. So uh, we have been uh, following the latest development on the recovery search uh, for this tow truck that went into the river here on Tuesday night. You may remember there was a really awful crash involving a semi-truck as well as the tow truck. Now, uh, family and friends believe that the people inside the tow truck are a couple, a married couple, uh, Shalvanish and Rosalind uh, Sharma. So those two um, individuals are presumed to unfortunately have been uh, killed by this accident and the tow truck uh, that they were driving has been located according to CHP they are very confident they're not a hundred percent sure uh, but they are very confident that today using sonar technology they were able to locate uh, this vehicle this tow truck that they believe um, is right in between uh, where this crash happened so the crash happened above uh, there's I can't really show you on Facebook live but there is a, a little bit of a patchwork of where this tra uh, crash happened and where the tow truck went into the water. Now they uh, say the tow truck, the vehicle they were able to find on sonar is right where they thought it would be. So uh, they use this technology today. They were able to pinpoint a really good location uh, for where this, this tow truck is presumed to be. Now, this is a da dangerous situation for divers, for people who um, are going to be part of this recovery mission. So as of right now, they are going to be bringing a barge into this area, which will have some sort of crane uh, device on it that they'll be able to use to get the tow truck out from this water uh, here in the Sacramento River. So I know it looks like a lot more people are, are now tuning in. So I just want to recap what, what we know at this point. Um, so again, I'm Madison Meyer standing on the east side uh, near Sacramento River um, where this tragic hap this situation happened uh, on Tuesday night where a tow truck and a semi were involved in an accident. That tow truck went off of US 50 into the Sacramento River. Immediately recovery situations were happening, but it was incredibly dangerous for divers. So unfortunately, they weren't able to make much progress that initial night. Now using sonar technology, CHP just told me that they were able to locate this vehicle now they are very convinced if not um they just said they're very convinced that this is the tow truck that they're looking for but it is quite possible it is not so without being able to really visibly see they're, they're not saying for sure but they are very convinced this is the tow truck that they have been searching for since tuesday night now According to family and friends, we did a story with them uh, on Thursday night. They held a vigil just across the river here on the West Sacramento side. Uh, they held a vigil for the family, the couple that are presumed to be inside of this tow truck. Now, the couple, um, they were driving on US 50 heading west when this happened, when a semi, somehow they got in an accident and that tow truck went right off into the river. So again, family and friends have been gathering. I can't show you the vigil where that, that took place because it's across the river, but there are still flowers, mementos for them. Uh, a very sad, sad situation. And now the, the bodies of those uh, of the couple have not been recovered at this time. I did ask about what that looks like. CHP is really confident once they get the tow truck out of the water they'll be able to figure out where to go next if they need to go um, search more for the bodies so they do believe that the bodies may be inside the tow truck is what we were gathering from that that interview we just did shortly so again um, a very such a sad situation very tragic story here but CHP is very thankful that today they were able to make a little bit more of a headway a leeway on this uh, because they really want to bring closure to so many people who um, who care about this couple care about this story it's incredibly sad uh, what we know is there is no timeline uh, at the moment so they can't say for sure they're gonna be able to get the tow truck out tomorrow they can't say they're gonna be able to get the tow truck out in a, in a week obviously they would like to uh, have that be soon but as of right now they they don't have a timeline of when this will happen because they got to get uh, some clearance from Caltrans they got to get clearance from PG&E because the gap there's a gas line involved Caltrans also owns US 50 here they own the bridges here so uh, that is what they're currently doing right now trying to get all this clearance from Caltrans from PG&E then they can get a barge out here with a crane that is going to be able to help them get the tow truck out of the water uh, so that's what they're doing and they're also when they bring the barge back in they're going to bring in some divers as well again so uh, this just to give you a look of the river 
it's moving obviously we're seeing rain so you're seeing it move but underneath the surface there's a lot more of a current so uh, it's actually a pretty dangerous situation for any divers to get anywhere close to where this tow truck is so again it's gonna be a big operation there's gonna be a lot of volunteers out here a lot of hard workers um, to get this tow truck out of the water so then they can figure out what's next in their investigation into this crash so uh, that is what they're facing they also said that they can't even see this much in, in front of them at all because of how muddy it is and how murky it is underneath this bridge. So that's what they're facing with. Um, it's not clear underneath there. So if they had divers go down, CHP was telling me that the divers wouldn't be able to see much in advance of them. So that's another danger. They don't want them to get caught on something or for them to get anywhere close to anything that could be dangerous for divers. So again, in a really tragic situation, but a step forward for CHP today, finding, um, finding the vehicle with sonar technology. Uh, so that is what the update is here. I, I wish I had more for you all in terms of a timeline, what that looks like, but I did ask, and again, they're working to get all the clearance from CHP, uh, sorry, CHP Caltrans and pg and &E, uh, to make sure that they can obviously do this safely and get a crane up here. It's gonna take a little bit for that to get up here because that's gonna be coming from the Bay Area. That's what CHP told me. So. Again, um, we can't tell you when this tow truck is going to be out of the water at this time, but we hope to have a little bit more of uh, an understanding from CHP on the timeline because, again, they've been working uh, hand in hand with the family of the Sharmas. And again, just such a tragic situation. My heart goes out to the family, anyone who knew this couple, because, you know, driving on the US 50, you just never think that something like this is going to happen. Um, where a, a tow truck or just a car, a vehicle in general, will go right off of Highway 50 into the Sacramento River. So um, again, they're trying to piece together uh, what really happened here, what led up to this crash even as well. Um, they are also asking for anyone who saw this crash. They're asking for anyone who saw the tow truck driver or the semi before this crash happened to give them a call. They're asking for more witnesses to come forward. They would really like to see and hear from people who uh, saw this happen. If there were more people who saw this happen that haven't come forward, again, and it's been um, six days or no it's yeah it's been six days since this happened so it's um, it's getting close to you know more witnesses uh, hopefully they, they just want more witnesses to come forward they don't want this to um, be forgotten about because again more witnesses will be able to tell them more of a narrative of what really led up to this um, all right, so I've exhausted all the, the details I really know. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, of course, I can you know, update you as I, uh, after I turn this off, but uh, that's really what's going on. There isn't a, an active search right now because again, they were able to do that with sonar. Uh, we will have more of a timeline, I hope, um, within the next 24 hours for you, but uh, incredibly sad situation out here. But again, one step closer to bringing closure for the families. Um, and everyone who has been watching this story very closely, it's a tragic situation, absolutely. Um, and hopefully CHP will be able to figure out really what went wrong here because the likelihood, obviously, if this happened once, unfortunately, this probably could happen again. So that is what CHP really wants to know. How did this happen? Why did it happen? Um, is there something they can do uh, to prevent this from happening again? So again, we're gonna update you all once we know more, but that is the situation out here. Um, I am going to uh, head over to where my, my photojournalist is, Hosea, so we can continue to work on this story for you all. But again, if you have any questions, uh, let me know and I can answer those to the best of our ability. But uh, appreciate your time watching this. Um, we'll have a story coming up on late news tonight at 11, as well as just updates on my Facebook page and Twitter too. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night.